Hi, my name is Sasha Rosenbaum and I'm a program manager on the Azure DevOps team. And today I'm here to talk to you about a very exciting new feature, which has been highly anticipated. And the feature is YAML release pipelines. If you're not familiar with YAML yet, it is a human readable data serialization language, which allows you to create pipelines as code. The reason YAML became so popular is that it allows you to automate and source control the very creation of pipelines. So you don't have to keep creating the pipelines manually over and over again for different deployments. Our agenda for today is creating a YAML pipeline and then um, showing the new user experience around the pipeline creation and reviewing your deployments. To do that, we will start with a GitHub repository. So I have a repository here, which is a simple, Node.js application, and it also has a Docker file already, so it is containerized. Now, I can go into my pipelines, and I can start the process of creating a new pipeline. You can see that I can choose a number of sources, and I will choose GitHub as my source repository. After a moment, it will display the repositories that are available to me, and I will choose the one that I want. This experience is the new experience of creating a pipeline that you can opt into in preview features. So you will see that Azure Pipelines analyzed the repository and it detected that it's a Node.js application um, and that it has a Docker file. So it suggests a couple of environments that I could deploy it to. I will choose an AKS service. Then I can select my subscription and in that subscription, I can select an existing cluster. Then I can choose an existing namespace, or I can create a new one from here. And then I need to select a container registry that I will put my Docker image into. And then I will leave the image name and the service port as defaults. I will click on Validate and Configure. And then Azure Pipelines will generate a new YAML pipeline for me. So you will notice that in this YAML file, we have a couple of variables defined. And then we have two stages. So the first stage is build. And the second stage is deploy. So this is a unified um, CI CD pipeline with YAML for both of these stages. If I click Save and Run on here, it will let me save my YAML files into the master branch of my repository. So it creates an Azure Pipelines.yaml and it creates manifest files for the Kubernetes deployment. I will click Save and Run in here, and it will also trigger the build for me. So while it's doing that, I will go into a pipeline that already exists, and I will show you the deployments that have completed. I will go into the second deployment, you can see that you can see your stages in here. Um, and you can also explore a couple more details about the repository. So I can click in here to my test. And you will see that there is tests in my repository. And the pipelines automatically detected that and ran the tests on my application. I can also go into environments, click on the deployment job, and browse the logs and explore the details of the job that just executed. The other thing that I can do in here is I can browse into my deployments and I can explore the deployment itself. So one of the things that will allow me to do is browse into the commits for this particular repository. So I can see all of the commits that were deployed in this particular deployment job. And lastly, I can browse into my resources and browse into my AKS cluster. So here I can see my workloads and my services, and I can see the details about my AKS cluster running and also the details of my application in here. So that's it. This is a new feature that you can opt into in preview features. Please go ahead and try it out. And if you have any feedback, please connect with us at Azure DevOps on Twitter. And you can review more documentation at aka.ms. YAML pipelines. You can also connect directly with me at DivineOps on Twitter. 
That's it. Thank you and enjoy Microsoft Build 2019 conference.